All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to another Harp stream. Um, the stream title today is Harp Music to Sit in the Shade to, although where I am, it's actually cloudy and rainy today. So I guess it's all shade, you know? Um, <laughs> that's how it works, right? All right, good to see you all. Everyone that's here already, Foreman Spike, good to see you, Aki, Bob, Annie, Rebecca, Brandroid, welcome back. Good to see ya. Good to see ya. Maybe we'll warm up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Joanna, it's cloudy for you as well. It's nice and cool today. It's like 22 degrees Celsius is the high. Which is nice. It's funny because we had we had like a heat wave to start off June and it was like a week and a half of like 30 degree weather. Which is pretty hot for this time of year. But after that, it's like you climatize and it's like after that, you know, a, a 26 or a 27 even. It's like, oh, it's nice and warm. This is pleasant. And then, you know, the low 20s, which at the end of spring felt so hot. Now it's like, oh, it's kind of cool today. I'll wear a jacket. Like... <laughs> Ice spoon. We have a sunny midday and chilly autumn here. Where are you? I'm assuming southern hemisphere, but it would it couldn't be no. Maybe South America? I was thinking Australia and I was like, that's not <laughs> that's not what time of day it is. Chilly, okay, okay. That makes so much more sense. I did that one already. That's okay. Aki, you had a really great thunderstorm last night. Love those. As long as they're not like too intense, you know? As long as they're not like damaging stuff, we love a good thunderstorm. making such a lovely little community here. Also, could I request some Pokemon music today? You have a Lucario plushie coming. Okay, that's exciting. There's, uh, in a Discord that I'm in, there's someone who got a massive Swablu plushie, and I'm like, amazing. <laughs> but thanks so much, Rebecca. I really appreciate it. We'll definitely do some Pokemon music today. Okay, my, I feel like my water bottle is, like, noisier than usual. But you gotta hydrate, you know what I'm saying? You got stuff. adorable it is it seems like it's also extremely huge which could be interesting but they definitely need to make more of the big plushies I don't like I love them I don't think I could ever buy one though because I'd just be like where is this living I don't know is this what they call decor I don't I don't know man <laughs> uh, gosh Steve! Good to see you. Welcome. How are you doing? Joanna has a reasonably sized Snorlax plushie. Excellent. Love to hear it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna warm up today with um, Final Fantasy Prelude. Cause so I'm just I'm in the mood for arpeggios. A huge Quagsire. Oh, it sounds delightful. I think Quagsire is cute.
thinking about I think it was last week I think it was last week um, I don't know if you guys know instrument maniac aka uh, Luke Pickman but he put out this video last week it's like harp and strings this like classical piece called the Gaggietto and it was just like it's so good it was so good and I was just thinking about it <laughs> I highly recommend it um I don't know if y'all are getting lag. I'm showing lag on my page, but hopefully not. Because I'm not having any dropped frames, so I don't know. If there is, I think it's a YouTube thing. All right. <laughs> Peter keeps talking about wanting a life-size Dragonite plushie. I just feel like that would take up like, a lot of space. Stream is running fine for you guys? Okay, well that's good. I guess it's just my, like, stream preview page that's not, um, not behaving. I don't know. I'm just gonna, like, pause it, because I, the spinning circle is, it's too much, you know? That didn't actually stop the spinning circle, so that's, whatever. It's fine, you know? We're okay. Okay, well, as long as stream is fine, that's that's fine with me. All right. Well, since we're on the topic of Pokemon, we'll get to some Pokemon music. We'll just go through all the towns that I, <laughs> I have on my iPad, I guess. Why not? Uh, other songs I'm practicing at the moment? Sort of. I feel like this week I've just been very... I'm like ready for some days off, you know what I mean? <laughs> I've just been like, I don't feel like practicing, so. I've mostly been practicing technique and then like kind of practicing primrose just because like I just want to get it in my fingers and feel really comfortable. I've been practicing Hikari a little bit because I want to like film a video for it hopefully next week. Um, I don't know. And then beyond that, I've just kind of like messing around. <laughs> also, PJ, welcome back. Good to see ya. Okay, um, let's do a little bit of Pokemon though. Feeling that, and then we'll see. See what we do next. Okay, let's start with Twin Leaf Town. Whoa. Psych myself out. This one 
why this is giving me so much trouble today. gonna be like maybe let's practice this and I'm like I genuinely just don't want to so we're gonna move on <laughs> we're going to move on you know what I am gonna do there is a piece I have kind of off and on been practicing it's not from a video game it's a Scottish tune um, and it's an arrangement by Kim Roberts and normally I'd play this on my lever harp but you know we're on the pedal harp today so that's what we're going to do um, and this one's called Glenlivet, so I'm gonna play that because it's fun. I haven't played this on this harp though, so I think it's gonna be... It's gonna feel weird, but that's okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
the last two pages of the song. But it's so fun to play. I love this one. It's called Glenn Livet. All right. We shall now return um, to our regularly scheduled video game music. It's a lot of energy in it. Yeah, I really like it. It's so fun. It, I think it's like maybe my favorite Kim Robertson piece, but she does have a lot of arrangements, so I probably haven't listened to all of them. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Okay, it's definitely more tiring to play on pedal harp than lever harp, though, because <laughs> the string tension is just higher. But, uh, okay. Um, I don't know. Why don't we play Primrose? Actually, no, I don't want to play Primrose right after that. It's too, it's too much in a row. We'll come back to Primrose. Let's do a little more Pokemon. Let's do... Something that I'm not going to fail at terribly. Let's do Little Root Town. I think I can handle this one. <laughs> All right. something with chromatic scales. That's basically every Pokemon song though, so you just have to try and pick the one with less, less chromatic stuff. <laughs> I like Little Root Town. It's nice. There's so many nice town themes from Pokemon though. I didn't like Gen 3. I think I'm kind of an outlier in that, but I think there were too many bug Pokemon and steel Pokemon that I just didn't like. <laughs> just I'm like, I'm tired of Durance. Like, get out of my way. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's do one more Pokemon. Don't know why I'm saying like Pokemon, but it's kind of fun to say it that way. Um, last time we had a request for New Bark Town from Gold and Silver. And I recall it not being that hard to play, so maybe we'll do that one. Durant is Gen 5? Oh, well maybe I didn't like Gen 5 then. I don't know. I can't remember, but there is like... I remember playing an, um, an emulator of emeralds. And... Just not being terribly enthused. Gen 3 has the best Pokemon, Flygon. Okay, Flygon is very excellent. 
Which one has done sparse? Because I really hate done sparse. I just really disliked Unsparse. I loved Gen 2 though, like Espeon is my favorite Pokemon. So, and I also, I just think there's like a lot of really good Gen 2 Pokemon. I just like a lot of them, you know. After that, I sort of lose track of which Pokemon were when. I think the reason why is because I was like, I don't know, I must have been in grade 2 or 3 or 4. And they used to make these little books, and it was like a Pokedex book, and it was like each page had one of the Pokemon from the generation, like a picture, and all the information about its weight, and height, and type, and moves, and information about it, and I would just like look through my little Pokemon book. I don't know what happened to it. But I had one for Gen 2, and I was just entranced. So... Favorite Pokemon type? Um, I don't know if I have one, but I do like a lot of like poison type Pokemon, actually. Okay. Now I think I can play Primrose. I think I can handle it. We'll see how it's going. I mean, I've mostly I've mostly just been playing Primrose very slowly because why can't I find this? There it is. Okay. Because I feel like a lot of the time when I practice it fast, I just get really tense and then I don't know, there's just something missing. So I'm like, let's just do it so slow so often so that it becomes just like a very comfortable thing to play. I think it's been working, but We'll find out. I'm going to play it at regular speed today.
there's still a little bit I need to do in the middle, but I do think the strategy of like just practicing very slow, very relaxed, I think it's like, I think it's working. The other thing is I'm really loving like the intro and the outro. I just think they sound so much better since I put on new strings. So that's always very gratifying. If Primrose was a Pokemon trainer, what Pokemon would she use? Okay, that's a great question. Um, I feel like Persian would be a good Primrose. Oh, Rosalia would be a good Primrose Pokemon. Roserade, yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. What about um, Gardevoir? That would be a good Primrose Pokemon as well. I can't remember, there's Gardevoir and then there's the other one. That's like the other evolution, I can't remember its name. <laughs> uh, all right. So, you'll add, oh yeah, 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 you're right. I feel like either of them would be really good for Primrose. Um, could be a good question for Discord, yeah, for sure. I feel like now, I feel like someone's probably done this already, like with fan art, but it's like imagining like which which Pokemon all of the travelers would use. I think that's fun. Um, Joanna says, I have something I need to practice super slow at the moment. It's so annoying to do, but it really works. It really does. And I think too, you have to keep in mind like, all the best players in the world practice slow. I think sometimes students think like it means they're not good enough or something, but it just works. It just is an effective way to practice and everyone everyone does it, so yeah. Sometimes you want to go fast though, I get it. <laughs> okay, uh, but that's pretty much all the ones that I felt like playing today. Um, so I'm ready to take requests. So. If you have a request, feel free to type it in the chat. Um, you can request basically anything, but usually we pretty much stick to video game and anime music. Um, or, or Celtic music, actually, we'll sometimes do that. Uh, if it's something you know I have in my repertoire, that's a good pick. If it's something that is available on VG Lead Sheets or MuseScore, I do need sheet music to play it. So if it's not there, I can't play it. That said, I also can't always play every request. For a variety of reasons so thanks in advance for being cool about it we appreciate it um but yeah Mitha's theme definitely frontier village oh i was practicing colony six yesterday should do that later have i tried anything from cures of the kingdom there's not a lot of new songs i feel like but i i i am going to do a cover of um the great fairy serenade it's just um first of all i'm slow at everything ever second of all my energy levels are very low, so I'm going to probably take some a bunch of days off at the end of the month. So that will not be out until like at least July, but probably August, if we're being honest with ourselves. The Serenade is so good, and it's like, it's so Celtic that I heard it and I was like, finally, a song from Zelda I can play. Because <laughs> I think like, I've only just started the arrangement and transcription and stuff, but it just, it lends itself so nicely, and I'm like, oh, I know exactly what I want to do with this. Amazing. So, yeah. Mifa related song from Tears of the Kingdom, the Mifa's Court. Yeah, Patty did a really lovely cover of that. I probably am not going to, but... I don't want to, like, do songs from Tears of the Kingdom just because it's, like, the trend, you know? I want to make sure that I'm, like, really inspired by them as well, because otherwise... Otherwise, it's just not good. It's not good for anyone. It's not good for me. It's not good for you. It's just not good. All right. But we can definitely do Mipha's theme. It's very fresh. Okay. All uh, right. Now we'll find out if I've already forgotten how to play this. Probably not.
I do this? by myself. I'm like, what? I don't know. It's only been a couple of weeks, but I'm like, how did I play this? Then? I'm gonna have to go back and <laughs> Just over here weeping. I know it's kind of all this. All this champions music is like a little bit sad. Okay, I'm just so confused. Or did I just jump? Like I don't. I don't think I did a crossover. I'm gonna have to go back and watch. So that's Mepha's theme. And then... And then we were gonna do... It's all dip my tongue? Xeno, Xenoblade. I feel like my brain is not working this entire week, basically. I think I had it okay. Like, I had gigs on Monday and Tuesday, and I did fine for those. And then I got home and I was like, brain's on vacation. <laughs> Okay, let's do let's do Frontier Village, and then I want to do Colony Six because I did practice it a little bit, and then we'll go from there.
just noticed the t-shirt, highly approved. Yes. Join the Black Eagles. Okay. Okay, let's do a little more, a little more Xenoblade. We're gonna do Colony 6. Okay, this one has a lot of runs, so we're gonna hope that my poor little brain is up to the task. <laughs> Okay, let's give it a try. for more requests if uh, if anyone's got them just saying just putting it out there or I can pick I guess to Xanarkand sure why not let's do it here we go
week my brain has just gone on vacation been having some long nights at work so listening to this at the end of a stressful work week is so nice oh, I'm glad to hear that okay um can't remember if I saved Sheik's theme It looks like I didn't, so I think I'm going to skip that one just because I don't think I have the brain power for all of the petals in that one right now. Um, ooh, making some crepes? That sounds good. Something from Fire Emblem, Magna Forest. Okay, we have two for Magna Forest, so let's maybe try that one. I'll have to look for it. Gosh, I feel so warm in here. I don't know if it's like the lights I have or what, but it's like, I'm like, it's not hot today. Why? Why do I feel so warm? <laughs> I guess playing harp just does that to me. Okay. Macna Forest is what we're looking at. I don't remember what this sounds like, so... Is it on Ouija Weechies? Crying out loud, okay. It's like, would you like to autocorrect? No, I would not. Thank you. Mm, I'm not seeing it on VG Lead Sheets. I'll take a look on Muse Score, I guess. Okay, <laughs> live stream in the dark. It will just look not very good if I turn the lights off. Uh, okay, so we're looking for Macna Forest. Mm, can we, oh, I'm not finding like a piano. It's only mixed ensemble. So I can't sight read six parts at once. I'm so sorry. But um, yeah, I, I'm not, I can't find um, music for this. Unfortunately, sometimes it'd be like that, I guess. Um, maybe let's, what do I have for Fire Emblem? Let's do something for Fire Emblem instead. Okay, I have the main theme. I have Song of the Nabateens. I have Tea Time, Lost in Thoughts All Alone. Wild Mountain Time. I feel like that's one thing my brain probably could handle. So let's let's do the Fire Emblem main theme for funsies, and then we'll do maybe a little singing, and then we'll we'll wrap up. Okay. <laughs> oh, wrong key. All right. Thank you. 
Okay, let's do let's do Wild Mountain Time, and then we'll wrap up for today. Okay. <laughs> convince me <sighs> yeah I, there, there's no warm up there but thank you <laughs> thank you okay all right that concludes most of our stream but there's still one more song left we got our ending song we've got Lon Lon Ranch still to play before we do that I want to say thank you for being here it's always really nice spending these Fridays with you even when my brain is just on vacation mode <laughs> it's always a good time so thanks for being here thanks for all the support as well everyone that's a patron everyone that's a member everyone that has given super chats etc 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 thank you very much i really do appreciate it, it does really go a long way um also for patrons we do have a patron only stream next thursday so make sure you check when that is um we try to do them every month sometimes it gets away from me a little bit but we are doing one next thursday um, but yeah, no other real news. No other real news, I don't think. 
So have a good weekend. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Get some rest. Drink some water. Some water. Sorry, I just saw Ice Spoon's comment. Music is not about the brain, but the soul? Question <laughs> mark? Just the lack of confidence in the statement uh, made me giggle, so thank you. All right. I do think so. It's about the time we spend together. I think that's what these streams are, are really about, so. Okay. Let's do some Lon Lon Ranch, and then we'll be off for this Friday. here again next Friday same as usual um, if you want to continue hanging out we do have a discord server if you're not in there it's a pretty it's a pretty nice place so all right farewell have a great weekend we'll see you next time bye